Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a four lever combination lock plus a double piston extender. Bam! All right, so this is the four lever combo lock. When I was actually building the button one for the subscriber of mine, my friend Feeks actually recommended, like, hey, why don't you just build a uh, lever one? They're a lot simpler, uh, and that would be a good start. But, you know, they asked for a button, so I did the button one. But this is a lever one. Uh, combination is one, four plus, you know, the activation lever is what I call it. Um, it's built off an AND gate, and I'll show you guys how to build that. This is a double piston extender. And actually, I built a safety feature, kind of, uh, just to lock it behind you. Now, the thing about this is, you know, you can go in and out, um, go back out, reset your password, and, you know, they have to know what, they, uh, what the password is to be able to get in. All right, but let's say this. Let's say you activate your safety lever, as I call it, and some douchebag friend of yours, or multiple douchebag friends, mess with your levers uh, to a point that it's not the actual correct combination. What's going to happen is you're going to be locked in, like your safety lever is no longer safe. Alright, so what you would have to do is break the line, pretty much, and you can get out. Now, what you would do is reset your password, like so come back in and uh, yeah do that all right so let me show you guys how to build this thing it is super simple but let's start with an end gate an end gate is just three blocks torch 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 I'm gonna use this as the example all right so oh wait we need dust here because that needs to be off all right so an end gate is simple to understand it basically involves one signal and another signal so this one and now with the other one going, it'll work. Uh, same thing if you know they're different, it will not. So it's the point of the word and this one and this one. All right, awesome. So there, quick tutorial on an end gate. All right, so what we're gonna do is build the uh, actual uh, panel. So let's start with that. We'll go from here. We'll try to match the other one. I like doing that. Alright, so now we need is just uh, four levers, and then the fifth one. Alright, and here is where you say your combination, pretty much. Uh, we'll just say on this one, it's going to be one and two are going to be the ones we need. So on the ones that are actually your combination, you would put torches on it. Everything else would have uh, redstone dust, and then you would have a torch that's going to be reversed. Alright, uh, what happens is this. There's your output, so you guys can see it. If they hit one and two it'll light up but if they don't know the combination and they hit this one it'll now turn it off so any of these you know that are not part of the combination will just negate the whole process but yeah so one and two so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to an end gate so again just need three torch 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 dust and we're gonna run this line into this one and this one from the uh, activation lever is going to run into this one. Alright, so let's say you want to be boring and stuff. You're pretty much done at this point. Uh, let's say you want to use a... And ag again, you can hide the redstone uh, a lot better than what I'm doing here. Just for example. Uh, so what do we do? One and two? Yeah, one and two. There. Alright, so basically, that's your uh, four lever combo lock. You can make this longer as long as it follows the same process. Torches on the ones that need it, and dust on the ones that, you know, don't have torches on them. So, to overcomplicate this, we're going to build the uh, double piston extender. So, this is what we're going to do. Hold on, this always throws me off a little bit. Because I set it pretty far away from this whole thing. So we'll give ourselves some room. We'll get rid of this line for now. Alright, so this is going to be where we're going to go from. So we're going to go two behind it. Come on. There we go. Two and two. All you're going to need here is just some blocks. And uh, we're going to have one going... Uh, what do I do on this one? All right, we do uh, one, two, three blocks here, and um, 
yeah let me make sure yeah three blocks and then the output line is going to go here I'm going to put a repeater here dust here I put this on three ticks I put this on three ticks on both so overall six now I'm sure this is not the most efficient way to do it but this is how I do it um, and yeah that's a double piston extender basically the signal hits uh, this one goes and holds it the longest then you know just it's it's a matter of like a little wave effect so what we do is because we want it to be um, extended at all times when it's locked we're gonna put just a block here and a torch therefore it is reversing it alright see now it's locked so what do we do uh, one two and then the lever there we go and you can set your little uh, closing mechanism here but that is it guys uh, again you can expand this as much as you want let me kinda hover above this so you guys can get a picture of the double piston extender and um, yeah awesome guys well I hope you like the video subscribe up top and uh, peace out